We are back with a chap with a long tongue in the cargo and he gave us a location which is apparently a trap but that's really the only location we know so let's see what happens if we go there uh, it took a lot of work but we got it out of him let's see it was 60 oh five by my yes. uh, by my notes and I guess this is Wee. Screensaver 2! Oh, and now it's Chrono Trigger. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually really, really calming, and I don't know why. <laughs> It's like a visualizer. Like this is milk drop or something. Hmm. Okay, it is right. We're starting to outstay its welcome. Well, from a technical standpoint, what was that? Was that a loading screen? Or was that just look at these cool fractals? I'm guessing more look at this cool stuff. Uh, cool stuff. Okay. Uh, well, we That's unfortunate. Well, we haven't been shot out of orbit. Oh, let's see what. Let's see what happens if we. Hmm. Okay, I'm rather surprised. There, there are no defense systems here either. If For a planet identified as Trap 4, it seems to be quite peaceful. Hold on, why, does the, why do the coordinates say 124? I 5. I don't know. You, you did click on 60. Yeah. You well, were at the top of the screen there. Well... We have come this far, so we might as well see if there's anything here. Unless that's what the little guy meant by it's a trap. Like we've fallen through a wormhole or something. Mm -hmm. no, could be. If the game has such devious traps. Yeah, you see, I don't know if it's just the resolution on my screen here, but that looks very hard in terms of seeing what you're doing. I, mm. I, I applaud your flight skills. Well, I'm, yeah, it doesn't show really the full lines of all the stuff on my end either, just more a line of dots. <clears throat> a suggestion of where the terrain is. Yeah. Right. There's nothing here. Okay. Okay. Should we try that again? I guess so. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we can adjust the horizontal and vertical separate. Oh, maybe that's what my problem was. Oh, right. At the top left is show it shows the location of the uh, hand cursor. At, at the top right are the target coordinates. Well, that's just stellar game design. Game design. Right. Now, now let's go let's to trap try four. This again. He's pointing. We're gonna go there. <coughs> that bit. Yes. And he, yeah, the emulator doesn't show the at least the disc drive in action. So this is just eye candy. Oh, I can click the right mouse button to skip it. Excellent. I thought it had just 
truncated on its own. Like, you've seen this, you know how it goes. Let's move on. Okay, right, now we have... Now it looks like st stuff we need to hide from. Yeah. Well, right, those arrows coming from the sides mean, you know, some kind of defense system locking on. If they reach the center... Well, it blows our fish out of the sky. Now, the easiest way to get past this, though, some somewhat tedious... Oh, the easiest way I have found is to just go normally until it's almost to the center, then you come to a dead stop and wait down here until it passes. It's a very easily confused missile defense system. <laughs> this reminds me very much of a game I had at... I think it was called Forbidden Planet. Mm. <coughs> Never entirely sure what was going on in that game. Hmm, sounds like something to look up later on. <coughs> oh, for sure. Mm. Right, and now we are at the canyon section. It was by the Design Design Designers. Ooh. What a good name for a software house. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Crashed there for a bit. I don't remember if these uh, will eventually be destroyed by crashes, but at least they can take a good few whacks. I mean, I'm not noticing anything on the HUD to indicate that you've taken damage. Yeah. Beyond the visual aberrations of actually hitting something. Hmm. Also, something I find somewhat odd about the whole thing about teleport only being able to teleport willing beings on board, but the way to uh, handle your clones is that you de de teleport them on board and then destroy them in the cargo. So uh, why would they want to be teleported, or is that some kind of special case where the limitation doesn't apply? Just off the top of my head, because technically they are us, Clones and all. Yeah, oh I, my! Yeah. Okay, I think this mm, is probably the cruelest Ulv. How do you, Okay, yeah. The first one was How do you, me, cruelest Ulv? Dead genetic. Yep. <coughs> Hmm, planet equals trap four. Yes, you great warrior. It's like Akira. Just look, look at those pulsing things. <laughs> uh, uh, I've seen Otomo do much more with pulsing biological masses. Well, I guess... Hmm, odd for some inst... Weird? Some of these are blanked out. We can't say no. But, uh... That... that is bizarre. Well, let's... Stop polite. How do you... Okay, that's not what I meant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Seems a bit thick. Rather literal. Howdy. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Do we need to introduce ourselves? Because he seems oh, to be hmm. talking. Yeah, that is a good idea. Me blood. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say about that. <clears throat> Change you no uh, let's try no. Uh, no we can't ask about imprisoned scientist maybe a prison colony or something like that like the the planet logo um let's try. Let's try the species. Huh? It's well small brain. Insult curse. Me no danger missile curse. It's well say nonsense. Okay, he also... Yoko also talked about the missiles in relation to this place, so... Yes! Let's try asking about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Missile... Uh? What? I... Mm. I can't even try to pass that one. My brain just broke. <laughs> hey, me, no danger missile. Hmm. <laughs> okay, um, maybe... Danger missile? Okay. Me search danger curse. That one I kind of get. Yes, danger equals six. Spirit laugh laugh curse. Okay, well, danger equals six. That might have something to do with the dead genetics, maybe. You see, I took it more to mean that he really, really enjoys, like, the th thrill of the hunt. Maybe. No danger missile. Okay, and danger not. Okay, you do not fear danger. You kill danger. <laughs> Female not. Danger. Me like danger. Okay. I think I see where you're going with this. Cruel is Ulf. Genetic dead. Hmm. <laughs> Want you destroy planet. Cruel is war. Okay. You kill. Cruel is war. Planet Trap 2. I guess we are about to get... Yep. That seems like a rather extreme measure. But, yeah, we haven't mentioned before, we have the ability to uh, blow up pretty much any planet in this game. Which is slightly worrying. Net great fear. <sighs> ah, okay, so the something fearful there, I guess. Of ESOM, rather. Yeah. Maybe 
that's one of the clones? Mm. I don't know. Yes. Planet kill me. Hmm? Okay. Oh, okay. It might be worth dropping a save state before going there, yeah. but that sounds like a place not to go to. Hmm. Like, I, I don't... Hmm. I don't know if that's genuine advice or what, but... We are Planet Trap 1. <laughs> Not sure why these planets are named Trap and Number, but... Yeah. And that doesn't tie Kill. in... Kill, laugh, laugh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Me give you great information. Yeah, I agree. He, he actually did, yeah. Bye, good blood. Okay, well. Yeah, okay. We've got like four places to go to now. Hmm. Why couldn't this guy have been that helpful? Hmm. Oh, we will be done in no time. Okay, so now we have no four places to go. Trap 2, where the Cruelies War are, the other branch of them, then Planet of Great Fear, and apparently a planet that will kill me, kill us, or Planet Trap 1. No further descriptors, descriptors there. Yeah, seems like a... It seems a rather mercenary attitude to take, but... W are we now expected to go to Planet Trap to get some information, then blow it up for that guy? Possibly. But right now I am curious about this planet of great fear. I have a theory about what it might be. Would you like to share with the rest of the class? Well, I guess I might eat. There's one of the species... Well, it's called dream creatures which appear beautiful to those they like and horrible to those, those they detest. So maybe... To that, that chap? We met one of them here, and it appeared as a horrible, fear, fearsome monster. That would actually make a lot of sense. Right. <laughs> and vaguely reminds me of the sirens from Red Bluff. I've been meaning to say, something I like about this game, with the exception of this part, I like that it's this galaxy-spanning epic, but it actually feels like it's moving fairly slowly. Which seems... It seems fitting, given that we are basically dying as a character. Hmm. I guess so. I mean, again, in part, this is helped by the, the Jean-Michel Jarre music when it plays, but hmm. yeah, I, I, I like the feel of it. Yeah, there's, I have to say, there's nothing quite like it around. <laughs> I mean, there was a, was a sequel that came out probably almost ten years later, and it, but it had a Quite a more generic feel to it. Hmm. Well, th this is one of the things that I think is like one of the best parts of the home computer era versus the console era, in that you could have 
weird niche titles like this one. I, I can't imagine something like this coming out on NES, for example, or, or Super Nintendo. Hmm. <sighs> can't certainly think of anything so this weird. Despite what... Uh, who knows, maybe there was stuff like that they just were never considered commercially viable to be brought and translated. Yeah, maybe. Because if you look at the release history for this game, it is... I don't know, because I haven't checked the page for a while, but it, it's almost exclusively the home computer crowd, the Atari, Amiga, Amstrad, Commodore 64, that sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah, the controls aren't so complex that you would absolutely need a, a keyboard to play this. Alright, let's see what we have here. This guy actually looks like it he might be the cruelest war. He, he looks, he looks very much like the uh, yeah, like the other mm. guy we found. Yes, you male warrior. Well, that's good to know. Planet me. Okay, so your planet is Great Fear. So I guess that's actually the name of the planet. Possibly. That or his planet inspires fear. Mm, maybe. Now we have, yeah, we have those coordinates down as something fearful, so... Oh, it's these coordinates. Yeah, so maybe this is... Th this planet inspires or is, <laughs> is called Great Fear or something like that. Okay, well, let's... see. How do you, me... Blood. Yeah, you are definitely reminding me of the other guy. <laughs> I forget, is this... That seems like a really basic fumble for the, the text parser. Is, is that just these two races being kind of slow? It could be... Okay, you didn't have anything to say about that. Neither did the last guy. <sighs> so, um... I wonder if they're going for a we're not so different you and I thing. Uh, maybe... Just up now, not what I. What was it? There was some symbol that. Okay, yeah, help is not an option here. Hmm. Why is that? Is there an in-universe reason why we can't say these words, or...? I have no idea. Okay. Ooh, radioactivity, bounty, nonsense. Uh... Well, no. Hmm. Ah. We can add.
ask about this. No danger missile curse. Like kill scientist. Uh huh. Could we, in turn, give him the coordinates for the planet we've just come from? Like, can we say, here's where Trap 4 is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just throwing this out. <laughs> just in case. Me like female on... Oh! On the young, that those are the dream beings that appear lovely or horrible. It's one all brain insult curse. And the Yande, lovely female. It's all say nonsense. Yes. Female, not danger me like danger. Well, okay. <laughs> well, since he mentioned that species, let's ask. Uh. Ah, okay, this is new. Andriante search, great male, me like. Uh -huh. Hmm. Ah, okay, I see. The uh, well, sort of the mouth mouth shape is the V O U, depend corresponding to the second part of the name. Nice visual shorthand. Hmm. Uh -huh. Me not want you don't want to laugh. Search female questions. Uh huh. <coughs> well, I noticed that there was one lit up option was a uh, species we haven't come across or heard of before, so might as well ask about that too. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, he thinks we are great. You male warrior. That's great fear. Okay, you know. Mm -mm, this. Bugle. Wait, is that tubular brain? I oh, thought that's... Oh, oh, that's another species. I, th I thought that's what that said, but... <laughs> okay. Buggle small warrior. Ah, uh, danger missile. Ah. Yes. Uh. Uh, it's about... Why not? Yes, yes, you say that at every turn you can. Well, I guess nothing. Oh, we can actually say bye. And he has nothing to comment on that. On that. Since all three planets have now talked about a missile, could we find where that is? Hmm. Maybe? Well, let's ask about the missile in general first. Missile sex crew. Okay. 
he's not refer here referring to his own species, but the other branch. Also, should be another of those species, or planet kill you, or trap one. I vote for trap one since, well, so apparently won't kill us, <laughs> at least as far as we know, and we don't know many more specifics about what's there. I think I'm in favor of that. Like, okay. like you say, trap one. We've not been told anything particular, particularly good or bad, one way or the other. Okay, one o nine and o four. Yes. Ah, let's just skip, skip this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There we go. You see, that makes me think that it is loading, but as you say, the the disc button isn't the disc indicator isn't going. So mm -hmm. who knows? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's loading in the memory and computer processor, but still, you can. I mean, you can skip most of it. Just not right away. Whoop. Does the manual it, explain anything like, here's the tactic for dealing with permitted offenses, or is it like this sort of the agreed upon tactic among players? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> know about that, but it, it just says that you have to be low to avoid the lock on. I mean, you could actually try to fly low, but seems well that seems a good way to crash into stuff mm -hmm. I, mean, okay. I mean I can see it that they're approaching a lot more slowly now that you're this low but it, it's mm. generally just easier to hop yeah just like Superman would have done mm. To better slalom through the canyon. <laughs> Very nearly. We should be close to the end anyway. I also fan I mentioned that it it feels like it's moving fairly slowly and peacefully. I like the the color scheme that it uses. Mm -hmm. um, because I a long, long time ago played this on the Amstrad CPC, and it's a similar thing, it was all blues and purples. But it, it it's not what you would expect from space. You know, you'd expect all the shiny chrome stuff and not yeah. this somber palette. 
Hmm, this is going on for a while. Maybe we are now close to the end. Yes, we were. Okay, is this going to be more cruelish people? Are all the trap planets there, perhaps? Find out! Now! And so we do. Me great. Oh. Oh, you poor genetic. Yes, your planet is trap one, we know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know anything about... We haven't been to trap two. No. So maybe, maybe he wants to know about that. Hmm. But he talked about genetic stuff right off the bat, so let's see if he happens to know anything about the scientist. Ah, uh -huh. danger missile curse again. What kill scientist? Okay, you know. Uh, let's see, genetic scientist maybe? Hmm. Hmm. I'm still a little stumped on this one. Hmm. hmm. about this genetic stuff. No? Hmm. Maybe it means that he's like, um... He is of poor stock. Like, he's not the best fighter. Could be. Well, do you know about Strong genes? No. What's the symbol for danger? Like I say, wasn't it that upwards pointing arrow that's just gone off screen? Oh, uh... Yeah, just there. Beneath trap. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh... Okay, also likes Undian the female. In search danger. <sighs> ah, me like information enemy. Hmm. Danger not okay. Danger is great mail. Like a uh, female, not danger, me, not danger. <coughs> so. You 
search enemy information enemy me like brain enemy dead okay well again going back to one of the last planets we visited we have a planet where his alternate faction lives yeah so we could direct him that way. Mm. Let's see if he can tell us more about this brain enemy thing. Huh? Small, small brain. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Uh, kill, warrior, me, destroy brain. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay, uh, maybe... Does the brain have coordinates? Hmm. Me like brain enemy dead. Okay. Hmm. okay, uh, maybe... What about... Like a simple yes or no would do. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Well, if he wants information about the enemy, well, I'm going to save first and. Okay. <coughs> uh, well, let's try telling him about. Where to find enemy? The planet coordinate equals. If I'm reading my notes right, sixty dash o five. Hmm. Well, that's hmm. unfortunate. Well, let's. Let's try to shorten it a bit. Okay. Um. <laughs> time equals. Um. Okay. Oh, that's our current playtime. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I can't think of much. All oh, right. Okay. Here's a people. So pop. Is father, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like the fact that it's limited our tools should make it a bit easier to work something out, but it really mm -hmm. isn't. I guess. Uh, can you think of anything to try to say to this guy? Again, I'm going to lean on trying to do something with the missile because everybody seems to want to know where it is. Mm. Yeah, or it just might be some exclamation or turn of phrase they like to use. Uh, missile. Missile six. Rule is over. Now danger missile. Hmm. 
Destroy planet. Okay. Search danger. Danger equals six spirit. planet you want destroyed? Possibly a, a, a thing. On the sentence you just made, would it be coordinate equals question mark? <laughs> or would the game be able to just pass that on its own? Hmm. No. We can try. <laughs> try. Planet coordinate equals question mark. Uh, maybe not then. It, it's. No. It seems like a really. Seems like a the really. Time again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seems like a really silly and <coughs> basic thing that we'd have to work with, but. I don't know this game's text parser very well, so. Mm. Well, I can't think of anything more, so... Oop, I think... Let's sit up, and I think we should end this video here again, having gone for a while. That sounds like a good idea. Mm. See you soon, everybody. Yeah.